Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how I got from this to this. But first to the beginning. First I took out the glass. For the terrarium I used all this. Then it's time for the background. Then I check it or the background fits. This I used as a kind of expanding foam and aqua silicone. It is totally safe for the animals. And then I placed in the background. Then I put some books on it for drying so it stays on the glass. Now I get the other background. Then I placed it in. When the glue had dried, I placed the wood in how I like it. And then I glued the wood on the background. For this I used the cork wood. It's super light and hollow inside. I highly recommend it for building a terrarium. Then I sawed the wood. By doing this I made two holes for the plants. Then I made a few holes in the large cork wood. Then I glued a few plant spots there. And I cut some foam off to give it a more natural look. Now I glued some moss on it. It's already time for the draining layer and the ground. For this I used the forest moss. It keeps the humidity high and it is great for the gecko. I too used it some cocoa hack and cocoa ground. Then you have to place it in the water and then it's getting almost 5 times bigger. When I was waiting for the cocoa ground, I already put the drainings layer in. I used the Lega, it's super cheap and super light. Over that I put the window screen. Now it's time for the plants. I already had some small plants. Now the ground was ready. I began mixing. This ground will be really good for the plants. I also used it some sand. But before we go any further, please subscribe! Only 3% is actually subscribed! Ok, let's get back. Now I put the plants where I like them. It looks pretty nice, so now I can plant them. First, I took out the big bark wood. Now I will plant some plants in here. For this I used it a bromelia. They don't have large roots and they are very beautiful. Then I put some moss with wire around it. Then the bromelian gets enough water. Then I placed it in. The ground I used to take peace lately and a petonia red and be sure to remove all the soil from the plant. Then I get a little bit aqua silicone on the wood. Then I place a little bit moss on it. Then I placed in my Aya non taruba. Then I get some Talantia coarse blister on it to hide the wire. Then 
I used some oak leaves to make it more natural. And the leaves are also a really good hiding spots for the cleanup crew. I made two little plates from the background and placed some kit on it. Then I placed it on top of the heat lamp to give it a more natural look. Now everything is ready, it's time for the cleanup crew. I buy them via the internet. What? So I place them in. It are 40 isopods with some little sprinkles. Then I placed in the thermometer and hygrometer. Now the terrarium is finally done. Thank you so much for watching, stay tuned for the next video about my crested gecko. Psst, subscribe.